Hey man, it's Bart Weiss. Oh, Bart I was just Weiss. gonna say that. Bart Weiss. It's Callie's Caves and Bart Weiss. I was just gonna talk about Bart Weiss. That's what this song is. I was is. just gonna say, fuck yeah, Bart Weiss. Oh wait, this is Callie's Caves yeah. 3. This is also a fun game. This is also a fun game, but... We're not doing an LP of Bot Vice for some reason. For some reason. Because it would, it would drive you nuts, though. Right? Yes. Oh, we gotta warp to where we're at. Where warp. are you? Where what's, are we what's at? What's the button? I think Down? It's up. Isn't up. it up? Uh. It's one of the keys. It's come been on. a week since we played the game, but. Yeah, but. Come on. I'm not this stupid, am I? You just, you just did it. You just did oh, it. Oh, then. The map. There then you go, map. Oh, then it was map. just uh, the back button. So, yes, I am that stupid. Where do we. Oh, we wanna go here. The Lost Village. Yeah, this is where we left off. We found it. We found it! Oh yeah, this is, and we mentioned it looked like a Spelunky. Oh yeah. And then we, oh yeah, we had stuff. this! We had this! Oh yeah. How can you lose? Yeah, it shoots three missiles, and also it's heat seekers. And okay. also, yeah. Yeah, I remember Pretty how cool. to play this game. Not There's OP this, at all. The ass spiders. You're still defeated by These spiders. bomb ass spiders. <laughs> <laughs> what? The water wings. You can go in water now. Bot vice. Oh yeah, you're right. Wait, how do I get in here though? You roll in there. How do you roll again? You press the rolling key. Oh yeah, you press. Remember, uh, it's the shoulder buttons. Oh, you're right. But you have to be facing oh. the direction of the shoulder buttons. You're right. So can I use um? Can I use my dash to get in there? My excel, my acceleration attack from Mighty Number no. Nine? No. No. But I was gonna say uh, there is a way that we can rectify the dashing situate the rolling situation in this game. You know how you have to face one certain direction and press the key in that direction. We yeah. could rectify that with Joy to Key if you want. Could we? Okay, cool. This is a way to force you to use the water wings and teach you how to use them. Water wings. Water wings. You also can't. What those are called? I used to call them floaties when I was a baby. I think floaties is like the brand name or something, maybe. Huh. But yeah, either one is acceptable to me. Floaties. What's over here? Oops. I could use some of those. I haven't swam. Swam. Since swam. I was in high school, I guess. Really? Yeah. When I was forced to take swimming classes, which I would never take now. Like, I wish I wish that I was a little bit more of a... I wish I had more of a mind of my own when I was younger. Yeah, but what if you never learned how to swim when you were younger? I, I already knew how to swim, though. Because oh. I had taken swimming lessons. Swimming. Swimming lessons. Swimming lessons. When I was a... Uh, when I was a young boy, I could swim well enough. I didn't. I didn't need to take the forced high school swimming lessons. Yeah, I didn't either. But they're required for everybody, just like typing, which I also didn't. Yeah, need. I would have been a bad kid though. I would. I would just not go. Oh. I, I swear I would get kicked out of school over it. <laughs> like with the way that I am now, I, I would. I would get kicked out. Of well, school. yeah, but I the way you were now is completely different than yeah, the way you were. Yeah, it's definitely different. You know? But like a few years after high school I kind of got a little more balls than I had when I was in high school I was I was very uh, conformist I was basically a <laughs> ghost I would just do do the bare minimum in high school and just get through it you know and that's why you're making LPs on the internet yeah I do what kidding. I want now actually I pretty much just do whatever I want at this point it's working out for you though mm, kind of <laughs> <laughs> and there are plenty of people that are worse off though you know I think you're doing pretty good I, th I hope it's going to lead to something just doing whatever I want all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that is a uh, pipe dream. It does. Well, actually, it, do it does lead to something if whatever you want is making things that people want to pay you for, well, which has yeah. uh, been working out for me, uh, sort of. So, yeah. It, it, but if I, need to, I need to step it up a little bit. If your dream in life point here. is to be a creator of something, then yes, you can do that. Yeah. But Creating something of value for people, which I've been doing, but I could be doing it a lot better and doing it doing something that I think I'm a lot better at which is games things related to games at least making artwork for games I'm sure I can do that. I know I can do that but I'm really anyway good at, yeah. enough about enough about Joe from GS and and swimming classes oh I want to bring something up completely unrelated but yeah. now's, now's the time to do it oh actually two things one is we're doing a giveaway well, actually let's circle back around to that we already did the giveaways we gave them all away we did yeah we we're not doing a giveaway. <laughs> we had three copies. You're right, we did. I forgot this is the yeah, fourth episode. This is the fourth episode. We're done with the giveaways. Then I only have one thing to talk about, which is we now have a subreddit. Reddit.com slash r slash game soup. We were not the ones that, that started it. It was somebody else. Yeah, it was, we Wes, think. It was yeah. Wes of X, who's a frequent commenter on Game Soup. Thanks, Wes so of thanks, X. Thanks, Wes of X. He has yeah. a little kitty cat for, uh, for an avatar. Is, Did you ever see him posting? Is it embarrassing that we didn't think of that? To have a little kitty cat as an avatar? No, to make a subreddit. 
Oh, no, I don't I don't know. I wasn't going to take the time to do it. Oh. So I'm glad that Wes of X did it. He also offered to give it to us. I don't know. I don't really... I don't want to manage it. Can, well, can you imagine, though, if, like, John Tron was in charge of his own subreddit? That's kind of weird, Yeah, you it's know? too much. If it's a fan thing? Yeah. Like, we, sh we shouldn't make a subreddit so that we can police it. Yeah, yeah, good uh, good idea. So anyway, I was gonna say I don't I don't want it, but if Ed wants not it, not particularly. Then, okay, yeah, then uh, it's there's already plenty of uh, responsibility involved with this channel in terms of being yeah. on the internet and social media. Yeah, for sure. It's what's up, bro? Like I already spent enough time with this channel, and I don't even do as much as Ed does. What do we want? Oh, can we get the coin thing? That no, seventy five k. That's. I think we should just start getting upgrades. 75,000? I mean, we're... It's kind of a lot, This is right? episode four, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's we should probably point. start upgrading our shit. Two min damage increase? Oh, two minute. Yeah, these are just one-time use. I think we should try and go for this cyber sword, bro. The cyber sword? Yeah. What about health regen? Doesn't that sound better? Mm. The sword, I don't... Well, I don't use the sword all that often. I want the cyber... I mean, yeah, yeah, you're right. You don't use the sword as often as I would if I was playing. So. Why is it cyber? Why? No, you're right. Uh, do we have anything? Get what you want, man, because you're going to be the oh, one playing you the know, most we... of this. Yeah, we need some of those power-ups, but those aren't that expensive. No, we need these bro? heals. Bro? Okay, 650 for three? I mean, they're really cheap. Yeah, they really are. Phil's health. Phil's health? Let's this, just get is a a really, this is a really fun game to do as an LP. I know, it is. This is, this is a great series, actually. Having only played one game in the series, I, I imagine that the entire series is like this. Good for... um. Do we really oh, have that many hearts? Callie's trials. We have that many hearts? Yeah. What? Yeah, dude, you didn't know. What? <laughs> Did we always have that many? No, we started the game with three, I think. How did we get we that many? Them when you, I don't know, I guess you level up, or did we... We didn't buy them, I don't think. I don't think so. I think we just leveled up somehow. Rupert has a darkness to him. I knew that. Yeah. He threw, he threw bombs at us like a... <laughs> like a nanny. Like a kitten. Yeah. He threw bombs with about the force of a, of a kitten. It was a, a very light darkness. He threw kittens, and that's why we don't like them. I would throw a dog, but not a cat. Yeah, Especially well, not a kitten. I mean, dogs always land on their feet, so... That's what they say. no problem with just throwing a dog wherever, whenever you want. That's a cat, though. I heard that if you kick a dog, too, it doesn't hurt the dog. I've heard that. That's why you always hear about people kicking dogs. I think they like it, actually. No, we, uh... We don't like people who kick dogs. It's not It's not very cool to do. It's not very cool. But that implies that it's still a little bit cool. I'd rather that you kick your dog than hit your kid, though. If you have to yeah, pick one. I mean, if you have to pick the lesser lesser animal, you so should if pick you're, your dog. So if you are a really angry man and for some reason you need to hurt a, another living creature, <laughs> if you absolutely have to hurt a living creature... There are plenty of inanimate objects for you to smash, too. You don't really have to hurt another living thing, you know? Yeah, I've done that before. I... I've caused some destruction to my body. To my property. You know, it's women. It's every time. I'm not going to get into too much detail. <laughs> oh, here we go. Every time. Here we go. There's actually only been two times where I've, like, lost my mind. And uh, <laughs> one of the times, I actually slammed my head into a wall out of frustration. <laughs> now, this was when I was a lot younger. I would never do this now. I know when to remove myself from the situation. And actually, I don't even get into the situations anymore because I've learned a lot more about women. Up, but these young if there's these young guys, if there are any young guys watching this, which there probably are, you, man, I feel kind of bad for you. <laughs> Bruh. If you're uh, dealing with these younger women. Yeah, it can't be easy. It's not. But uh, there are some strategies and some ways to ways to deal with them. Well, I'm not. Hold on, hold on. Okay, never mind. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna take part in this because I don't think it's either particular. It's everybody. It's not just women or just men. Well, I think it's everybody. But I can tell you that the two times I've lost control of my mind and body, right, it was involved with frustration with women. Right. That's your experience, though. It's. You know, it's yeah. like anecdotal. I don't, I don't want to... It's wanna, absolutely anecdotal I don't wanna, that, that, that particular evidence. I don't yeah, I've slammed my head beef. into a wall. Anybody else slammed their head into a wall? <laughs> Over anything? Post it in Over the comments anything. below. Over anything? Have I? Probably... I don't know. Have like, I? Like, just lost your cool? <gasps> well, I've never hit a woman or a kid. I've hit, a, I've hit other... No, I know I've hit kids when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That doesn't count, I've though, I've been right? in some battles, but not... not I'm not to... I'm not trying to brag. I've never been in any like real, real fights, but you know, some scuffles. I've been hit and and hit other kids, but 
wouldn't say anything oh. that would I would consider any real fight. Nah. So we got this flamethrower. Oh yeah, this one. I like that gun. Man, guns are cool. <laughs> this is the game. Oh no, how do I get out of here? This game should be called Guns oh, Are Cool with bombs. an R. Oh yeah, the bombs. Oh, the bombs. Jeez, I'm really forgetting. Will the bombs him. bust through that? It better, otherwise we're stuck. But yeah, oh, okay, I'll give you flamethrower. Nah, tips, tips on how, tips on how to how to how to handle women and get women. Are, I find that to be kind of cringe and stupid to talk about. To be honest, I was gonna give the guys some tips though, Enjoy. not about like just about how to handle uh, crazy bitches, you know. Well, I guess. one of the best. I mean, if you realize that she's a crazy bitch, you should get her out of your life. That's one thing. I know she might be really hot, but get her out of your life if she's a crazy bitch. That's the number one thing. But if you're if you're in it, um. Game soup. Be nice. Be nice, but also you have to be the leader, you know, over everything. You gotta be the leader. They're not gonna respect you if you're not if you're not the leader. Broadgeneralizations.com. Yeah, that's that uh, that's really backslash game. Even soup. if they even if they say what they want is to be your partner, they really want you to be the leader. I promise this will work out for you if you if you, <laughs> if you stick with this. If you're listening uh, to us for your relationship advice, that that is your first. That's also mistake. not. That's also kind of a mistake too. But you that know, is... it's working out for me so far. So sure, sure. So Joe, I know you have a lot of notes. Do you want to go over those? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just want to run my mouth. Here. Uh, let's do or it. run our mouth. That's fine. I uh, oh, I want to break this. How do I break it? There we go. Secret? Yeah, I like no. I like the real talk topics, but I notice that you kind of get shy when we start talking about something that that might be offensive to someone. It's not. Uh, it's only on topics that I don't think. Topics that might trigger someone. Trump 2016. No, <laughs> it's not that at all. No. I just I don't I don't want to talk about things that make broad generalizations about groups of people on I this channel. I want to write the I want to write the I want to write Trump in chalk on the outside of our, our office building. Trigger that somebody. We, what? He died instantly. He took too many damage, too many rockets to the head. I How sure far do. back is this? I demand to know. No, it's it's not far at all. Okay, it's right okay. here. Then let's just continue recording. A lot of killings lately in the news which has been pissing me off why a lot of a lot oh, yeah. of these uh, people have been killing cops yeah they're not cool that happened this morning of the episode we that we're recording this the the Baton Rouge killing of those guys yeah what's up with that those cops by those three suspects one as of this recording one of the suspects has been killed and the other two are at large. Was he killed during the attack? I, I didn't even... I don't think it was during the attack. I think they tracked him down, maybe, and he, uh... Oh! I don't know. I don't know. All the all the details are kind of shady at this point. Because right. it's, it's, the situation is unfolding. So none of the details are out. Oops. Here we go. But yeah, and then there was the, the truck killing. Oh, yeah. Which they called the truck attack. The truck One of the attack. major news networks, they were all calling it like a truck attack. It was a man. It was a radical. <laughs> it wasn't a truck. Yeah, it wasn't a truck. Yeah. It was a. It was a man who did the killings. A truck doesn't do killings. <laughs> 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 Maybe in one of your fantasy films, but I think they got it confused with shark attack. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a truck attack. No. It was an Islamic extremist driving a truck. Do we know that but, it was an yeah, Islamic? So, extremist? Yeah, it was absolutely. It's, that's right. been confirmed at this point. All right. And it was weird though because that attack wasn't wasn't as as prominently in the news and that had the highest body count of any recent attack. That one pissed oh. me off. And there was like the Orlando shooting that got a lot of a lot of news coverage and that was the same thing. And Islamic terrorists killed a bunch of uh, a bunch of people at a club. And that made the news maybe because it was in the U.S. I don't know. Well, also, this the, one was in France. Yeah, this was also on Bastille Day, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the the, the French. Independence Day? Yeah, it was like a French, right? some kind of French holiday, yeah. We're pretty ignorant on GS. Well, sure. We're, a lot of I things. mean, we're Americans. It's a lot kind of, of how... Yeah, a lot of culture. That's how Americans have generally been uh, raised to be ignorant, because we don't have to care about other nations, so to speak. To be to, to put it bluntly. 
you know, we're not incentivized we in can, our daily lives to do this get, at all. We can get oh, by, crap. I guess, without knowing a lot about other cultures. I mean, we only have to know one language. We can travel thousands yeah. of miles in any direction and still be in the in our country. Not, uh, you know, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousands like, and thousands. It's millions, true, though. Even. <laughs> 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 we can go to the moon and still be in our country. Still be in the great, the good old U.S. Is it is it the moon considered the property of the U.S. because someone we put a U.S. First. flag on it? No. Yeah, we were the there The entire first. moon. And we, is the moon landing real? I've heard conspiracy that it's, it's not real. It's not real. In fact, no. I have nothing. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I tend to believe that it's real because I don't know that much about it. I do believe that Tupac is alive, Oh, Jesus. Though. Oh. So, okay. So you believe in certain... Is is that a conspiracy too? Though is there like evidence that points to? Yeah, yeah. I've I've gone down the rabbit hole briefly, and I'm like, this is retarded. This is not going to help oh. my. This is not helping my life at all to know whether or not Tupac is alive. <laughs> so I I stopped it fairly promptly. Oh. But you know, if you guys have ever delved into any of these conspiracy theory topics, you know that it just it just never ends, and you're, it's just a waste of time because it doesn't help you in your life. You can read about chemtrails, which is one I never really went down. That's just a common one people talk about, that they're like spraying us with aluminum, which is a common aluminum. element in the in the dirt. So I don't know why that would matter, but... Luckily, I've heard that Tupac loves Kelly's Cave, so I hope that he's watching this now. And he, yeah, if and you're Kelly. watching this, Tupac, post in the comments. Come on, come out. We come know on, you're man. in Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> we know you love Kelly's Caves. Oh, we can't get up there. There was uh, There's an alternate exit in this level somewhere. Should I talk about why I believe? I mean, it's possible. It's very possible he's also dead. I'm not saying I think 100% that he's alive, but I think there's like maybe a 40 or 50% chance that he's still alive, which is fairly, okay, here, fairly high. Here's what I, here's the important question here. Has anybody ever, any famous, any celebrity with the same amount of, of fame as Tupac faked their own death and was later discovered? Has that ever happened? Is there a precedent for this? Um, I don't think so. I don't I don't think he's come I don't think he's going to come back out I don't think he's gonna like resurface ever but what if my I like, mean my only hope is that he's he's in a recording he has a recording studio in Cuba and he's just making songs and <laughs> on his death he's like instructed one very closely trusted friend to just release all of the songs I at once so. for free yeah that would be cool that'd be really sweet to have a bunch of new Tupac songs but you know we'll be old men by the time that happens yeah I guess yeah it's okay. Am I really going to want to listen to Tupac songs from 2016? I don't know. 2016 going to be really days. outdated. Does music really get outdated? I guess it does, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it? it sure does. Especially hip-hop and rap music. Yeah, I guess it's, it depends uh, on the it genre. It gets outdated pretty fast, actually. But classical doesn't really go out of style, but... Nah. Orange slices. Orange slices. I mean, there's always classics. It's fun to go back and listen to the classics, but, like... Holy gets, crap. The music gets outdated faster than a lot of things. Even like, maybe not fashion. Yeah, fashion's pretty cr pretty crazy. But music's up there. I used to be a, a fashionista before I realized how hard it was to stay in... Uh... You did? Like, yeah. In college, I was I majored in fashionista studies. Mm, well, some people come to this channel for the lies. Some people. That, that might also be a lie. I don't know if anybody does, really. Hey guys, I found this great new YouTube channel where everybody just lies all the time. <laughs> yeah. Great, you guys should totally check it. Oh! Totally yeah, check it out. Yeah, you guys should. Really, yeah, I don't want to do any voices right now. Actually, I What's feel that? like I'm. Uh, I just don't. I just feel uh, I'm not feeling it right now. You oh, know? Okay. That's why, like, I make these notes about things that I'm really that I, I think are going to be really funny on the program, and then I try to to be as passionate as I was about them when I wrote them, and I, I never am. And I thought of some really funny things to talk about earlier this week, but I forgot to write them down. No. Oh. And I was racking my brain for like 10 minutes yesterday, just looking up into the, <laughs> up into the right at my ceiling, like, what oh. the fuck was I thinking about? I was like giggling in the shower, laughing at something. I was like, oh, I gotta talk about this on the show. <laughs> but it never happened. Now it's, yeah, now I'm talking oh. about talking about trying to come up with things That's, that's on the show instead of talking about the actual thing that was funny. Who knows, it probably wasn't even that funny anyway. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that makes me feel better to say that. That makes you feel better? Yeah. Callie's Caves. Oh, are you going in the right direction? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, we were in a dead end. We need to find the actual exit from this. Oh, okay. You're getting a lot of... pee-pee-soaked heck hole. I think this is the way... Urine-soaked hell hole. I would have preferred it if you... Oh, God, Simpsons references. Yeah, you know, we don't need to make Simpsons references. No, I think... Yes. We have enough 
content of our own that we don't need to make references no. to popular television programs. Okay, so we were going the right way. Wait, that's... Yeah, yeah, go down. I still like the phrase pee-pee-soaked heckhole a lot, though. It's pretty funny. I'm not going to knock you for using that one. Good. Like, once in a while, making a reference to something's art, right, but if your entire comedy stylings are based on references to television programs, especially the Big Bang Theory, <laughs> uh. you might need to rethink your life. Yeah, well. There are a lot of reasons to rethink your life. That's just one of yeah. them. But hey, this is this is coming from a guy who my entire humor used to be that was imitating television programs, but I was a kid, so uh, is it a, it's excusable cuz you're a kid, right? Yeah. You, I, you, I think I did it for longer like Well, you're nothing though when you're a kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you kind of you don't you don't know what you you know what funny is cuz you've seen it, but you can't come up with it yourself. You can, I guess. It's not like that was all I did, but it was a lot of what I did, and I, I was a douchebag. Don't do not do that. As a kid? If you're a teenager, maybe maybe it's alright to just quote television shows, but past that, you, you need to stop doing that and come up with your own funny things. Because everybody can be funny. You don't need to... No, not everybody can be funny. There's... Oh, come on! I'm trying to be optimistic for people. Oh. Everybody can be funny. You don't need to quote someone else. You know what I'm saying? Nah, not everybody can be funny. There's some people ah, who just aren't funny. That is low. That is low. You it's really... something you have to learn. And a lot of it comes from pain. What? I think... Yeah, what I the think, hell are you talking about? A lot of the funniest people usually, oh. have, usually have been through a lot of pain in their life. It's just a pattern I've noticed. I don't know, man. Maybe just the people that have the type of humor that I appreciate have been through a lot of pain in their life, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's a, a... I don't know. Like, are you thinking of, for example, Robin Williams? Yeah. Maybe. I guess, I guess. That's a good example. I actually wasn't thinking of that, but that's a good example, oh. yeah. Just as a... Oh, nothing. It's just, it's like, it's a coping mechanism. Yeah. In a lot of ways. And also, it's a way, and especially if you're, like, ugly or people just... People don't like you for any other reasons than uh, becoming funny is a, a good way to a good way to make f to make not really make friends actually not make real friends but to get people to like you and want to have you around because you're going to entertain them. It's it's to provide value to your social circle. Yeah. If you were a caveman, that's that's what it would be. I guess. I guess that still applies today. Because yeah, you have sure. to you have to give something. We're still cavemen. Well, we, we, our bodies are still, are still, uh... Caveman bodies. Yeah, we still have the, we process Oof. food and we, our, our bodies are largely the same. We process food. We process, we uh, process I yeah, process rocks, we actually. We process food the same, the same way that cavemen did. Well, we yeah, haven't evolved enough. How old were the cavemen? I mean, how long ago was that? I don't know, 10,000 years? History on Game Soup. Hit us up. Yeah, we are the most qualified to talk about history. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was watching a Genghis Khan documentary. Oh yeah, of you history. love that dude. I've... He's your idol, right? No, but I kind of like. <laughs> I started getting into history actually. No. Uh, no, it was like it was maybe half a year, a year ago. But that... I was starting to get into history and listening to documentaries while I'm doing my work. Okay. Ex okay. If anybody can explain it to me, it's you, because I've never gotten into history, and I, for some reason, I just can't do it. What yeah, did you like about it's it? it's pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is no, nothing. But, you know, it's it can be kind of interesting when you run out of, when you I run out of good podcasts to listen to, and and good music. The like, mind. there's no good music coming out. Like, recently, have you heard any good hip-hop songs lately? Because I haven't. I haven't like, heard any hip-hop songs recently, period, though. The last month or month and a half, it's been pretty dead. Have you listened to Serial? My sister swears by that sh uh, that show. It's it's the radio sensation that's sweeping the nation from last year. I'm just catching on to it now, though. Serial? Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's NPR thing where. Oh. Don't go. Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't mean, even tell you what it was I about mean, yet. I mean, oh. <laughs> it's it's a true story about how um how how a teenager was. Oh god, I don't even know how to put this. One Maybe teenager was, was killed, here. and another teenager was, uh, you know, like, uh, they they did a de detective work on this teenager, and they said that he was guilty, so they put him in jail, and he's still in jail. And the, you know, the person, who, the journalist who's telling this story goes and talks to him, and they discuss the evidence, and I'm not even that far into it, but everyone said it's, like, the most interesting thing. It's, it's, oh, yeah, maybe, it's man, a true maybe story, it's too. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, NPR. Oh. How dare you. <laughs> Good sir. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really, really picky about the content this, that I uh, consume at this point in my life. 
channels like NPR and WHYY can only happen with the support from viewers like you. Yeah, not... Well, How I, dare you? That's not gonna happen. I'm not a viewer or a listener of, uh, of NPR, really. You should be. On any regular like basis. the best thing to listen to in the car is NPR. Usually. Usually. Because... Uh, I listen to Power 99, which is our local hip-hop station. Oh, ew. Yeah. NPR's... Hey, look, you know what we can afford? Coins. But I don't really drive that much for long distances, so... Oh, yeah. Like, if I was driving for long distances regularly, I'd probably try and hook up something where I could listen to podcasts and something more educational, but my drives are usually just local, and I don't I don't have a job to drive through. So imagine how much do you drive without without your job. Take out, take out your job, and how much do you drive? Barely ever. Yeah, or school. If you don't have... I don't, I don't go to school, and I don't go to work, so... That's how that's how much I drive. Yeah, you can as also, much as you minus all that. You can listen to NPR on the internet, though. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people have have told me about some shows on NPR that are cool, so I, I, I could probably give it a shot. I don't know. I don't know. They they always pick interesting topics. Is is what gets me. I mean, of course, they they have their own schedule where there's different shows. It's not just one thing. But yeah, like uh, uh, car talk. I don't love car talk. I love. I don't love cars, but I like the the channel itself because not the channel, the show because they're funny. The, those two guys, one of them just recently ripped, ripped. Oh really? He's perished. A, oh god, this is. I'm not making points today at all. It's getting towards the end of the night. It's one of those things. It's the Callie's Cave thing. Yeah, I mean, this is a guy that I don't know, so no, I no can... like. Car Talk has been on for a long time on NPR, and people will call in with their car troubles, and these two guys are experts. I think they've been in the car industry for a long time or something. They know what they're talking about, but oh. it's, I mean, it's, it's, uh, Golden Door Boss. Oh god, you're right. Oh, what's a good example? Like, what's a good analogy? Holy crap. What's a good analogy? Any show that is... Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I don't even know what I'm saying, but it's still, turtle. it's still interesting, holy even shit, though... Holy shit, stingers. Yeah, I know. That was my point. It's just, it's still interesting, even though it's about cars, because of the other stuff, because of the people. Okay. Is, was he Terra stunned? Permaston? His 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 ass or her ass because her name is Shelly. Oh. Her ass is uh, invincible, oh. to, impervious to damage. Oh, you get to just parry, parry these bastards. Jeez, I don't know what I was thinking. That's a Wait, good call. But you're taking damage, you're dead. You're gonna oh, yeah? die. You gotta use your. How did I take damage? You gotta use up those consumables, bro. That's why we bought them. Consume them. Oh, I use wish it. I had. I didn't know how many hearts we had. I should have gotten the big ones. Wait. Can I stop perm it, you bee? Oh. How come me uh, only Cutter. sometimes? Cutter. Cutter. Like that country. Cutter. <gasps> Fucking shit. Those take extra hearts. Those, not, those aren't just doing one damage. No. Those are doing more than one damage. It's cool. It's cool. We got this. I like this. how fast this game loads, though. I know. You just, you're dead. Okay, you're back. All right, let's try again. I want to know the engine that this game was made on. Yeah, I kind of do, too. It was either Maybe Game Maker? I bet it was Game Maker. You think so? I don't know. What else could it be? I, I don't know. I don't know any others, therefore none exist. Ow. What about Construct Ow. 2? Yeah, I just I just banged my uh, tooth on a glass. Oh, yeah, it could be Construct 2. I, I I don't know. It's okay. It's one of those, right? It's Cutter. Stop it! I, I, I feel like if this was made with Construct 2, though, I would know because I follow. Yeah. I follow Construct 2 news and loosely. Same. Because we use Construct 2, and I'm a big fan of it. Oh. oh. I wanted to play. Oh, those what, are mines. What do they do? I wonder. I think if the enemy gets nearby to them, they'll take some they damage. Explode, yeah. I would imagine that's what a mi I, I would imagine that's what a mine <laughs> yeah, is. Could, I didn't need to explain that. No, I was just thinking like you know, well, usually you know, obvious when you get a weapon around the same time as you fight a boss, usually that weapon is the boss's weakness in game design in general. Yeah. I don't know if that's the case though. He's destroying these tiki's. He is. One of the Wait, tiki's really? was destroyed. Yeah, one of the. I, I guess it's him. I guess it's Shelly destroying the tiki. Shelly. Oh, he's almost dead though. So am I. Yeah, I think he's weak to just heat-seeking rockets. What wouldn't well, be, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, is there anything that's not? Wait, you can just stand here. Yeah, I feel like it's going to destroy that totem, though. But you would think there would be some kind of a cracking, like the the sprite would turn into a cracked yeah, totem before gotta be it some gets sort of destroyed. Some visual cue. Yeah. But there isn't. Oh. I don't know, Genghis Khan. I was listening to Genghis Khan documentaries, and I listened to the entire Dan Carlin's hardcore history about Genghis Khan. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you learn? Well... He was a real asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I got out of ten hours of research. <laughs> Didn't he have the most children of anybody ever? Yeah, and that's what I was going to say. There was one documentary where at the end it said, despite all of his murderous rampage and his horrifying behaviors, 
He created more life than anyone else in the history of mankind. Even Jesus. No, yeah, I think I've heard that. Isn't isn't it like one in two Asian people are no, descendants of? No, it's like one percent. It's some small percentage, but it's still ridiculously oh. huge when you consider that there are uh, billions of Asians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was one hundred percent actually. Look, the dark castle. So they say yeah, he's he's a life giver, but really they're they're stretching for something positive to say about him. When the nicest thing they they can say about him is that he raped half of Asia. And they, <laughs> that's not that nice, actually. No. No, it's not nice. But the upside is that he gave... And by half, I mean every single female. Well, every, yeah, that's... He, yeah, you're right. That's half. He was... He was... He he really raped and pillaged. How can nobody stop him by the killing him? The entire of it. He's possibly the biggest mass murderer in the history of the world. Why didn't anybody just stick a dagger in his throat or something, you know? Everybody uh, talks about Hitler, but I don't know. Genghis Khan might have done it. He's done more than Hitler as far as killings. Really? Yeah, he's... More than six million people? Yeah... I don't know. That's just Jews. There might not have been as many people in the world though back then. I think there weren't as many people. I don't know. Ignorant, ignorant history talk on GS. Yeah, this is not our forte. Hope that you enjoyed it. He was called Temujin. That was his real name. Really? Yeah. Where, what country is Genghis Khan from? Uh, Why does he have a dumb name like Genghis Kangas Khan? Kangas I don't know what the country was called. See, I, this is this is what, why bother learning about history. I'm not even going to remember any but, of it. Yeah, he's it, not a Japanese it was dude like, though. That was like the Chinese area, but it might have been called something different back then. Was he from China? But but Genghis is um, a title that... Not the title. Genghis was like a nickname he was given, and I think, yeah, Khan is the title. Khan is like the Crus the Crusader King or something. I think it's a, it was oh. like a title in the culture that they gave to somebody who was like, you know, a general, like a murderous general. Right. Murderous general. It's kind of redundant, though, right? Yeah. A general commands murderers, right? Can I blow these up? They just go off after a certain amount of time, it seems. But he was he he took over all of Asia, and he was poised to take over Europe. But then, after he died, his sons his sons had too much infighting, and uh, they couldn't like they couldn't figure out how to divide the kingdom. So their their focus became divided, and you know. United they stand, divided they fall, and thankfully they were divided and they fell because they would have taken over all of Europe as well. What's so bad about that? Well, they would have raped and pillaged across Europe. Oh yeah, that they, is they were stopped bad. at the edge. Hey, look at this. Is that a guy? It's nothing. By mostly because of their infighting, but they were the most brutal and efficient murdering machine that the world had ever seen. What's the, what's the best murder machine now? Uh, I guess the U.S. government. I don't know, but Ooh. haven't they? Uh, they're, they're. I don't know. I don't really. I don't really know too much about the the military operations currently of the of the U.S. government. What was with Genghis Khan? Why do you want to have so many children anyway? Kids are a pain, <laughs> right? Well, no, he didn't. He wasn't fathering them. No, he was. He took care of all of them in a big shoe. He took. He took care of. <laughs> he the lived ones... in a shoe. Haven't you heard the riddle? He took care of the ones that he had with his wives. He didn't yeah. spend time with them because he had like dozens of them with his wives, I think. Right. But the ones that he was just he was just raping, he just left those bitches behind. Yeah, it's not very nice to do though. Yeah. It's not very it's not a very nice thing. No. Oh. What is what's the green thing? Bah! The green, the, the blue thing. Oh, That's it's experience money. for no no no, the uh, that thing. Oh no, not that thing. Uh not that thing. You saw it though. That. It's experience for Cali. Oh, it is? Oh, that's yeah. when you get your hearts then. Yeah. Yeah, you see that it. little yellow bar under Cali? That's your experience. Yeah. Bar. Wait, um, are we going to buy something? We got 29,000. No, I was going to save up to get. Um... Wait, what's this? Phil's one? Oh, we don't want Phil's one. Um, no, Insta no, no. heart. It gives you a heart right now. Yeah, I don't need that. I got milk. Excuse me. Bro. I was going to get health regen or a sword. I don't think we really need the sword. What are we doing on time, bro? Oh, I guess we could afford afford to call it. Looks like this zone has moving blocks. Herbert. Let's just get to another checkpoint. I feel like we just killed a boss, you know, Let's so see. it's a good, good stopping oh, point here. Let's check the map. Yeah, that would be a... Oh yeah, look, we're just one room away. We'll just, uh, we'll get to the next checkpoint. Yeah, let's get to the next checkpoint, bro. This was the strangest episode, conversationally, of Game Soup I've ever... Yeah, we've really been all over the place. Yeah. Triggering. Triggering everybody. Including no, me. I doubt we're triggering anybody. No, I, anybody yeah. watching this far. What about... Oh, God. 
And there's no women watching, so... Well... Well... There's like 4%. Oh, that was dumb. There might be. If you're if you're a woman... I didn't and, say anything bad about women. Oh, yeah, cool. Well, you were making broad generalizations about women. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm really good at making broad generalizations. I know. I, lo I love generalizations. I know. More and more. The older I get, the more I love broad generalizations. Yeah. Because they, you really have to make generalizations to get around in the world. Because you can't possibly vet every person you come in contact with or every person in the world. So you kind of have to make broad generalizations. And, of course, when you meet somebody, don't, gener don't generalize them. You gotta... You do uh, have to... Have to take in. Here's what you do: if they're a different race, person. you marginalize them. No, 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 no. But kidding. there are there are lots of racial differences we can talk about. That's gonna that we can definitely I, trigger some people I don't with, want that, with that conversation. You're gonna trigger me. I'm not gonna trigger you. I'm, I can't trigger you. Triggered. Who that cyber sword? Let's just talk about cyber swords. No, you know, race race is a oh, cool. We can play this bear. Oh, my bear. Oh, my girl. Bears are racist. Oh, my bear. people, people really like to toss around that racist term now. Yeah, no, it's very like, as soon as you do. disagree with somebody, they call you a racist. And because there's no rebuttal to that. You can't say anything in return. Like, oh, no. you, you can say that they're not a thinking person. They're just jumping to a conclusion and, and then, calling you the, the grossest thing yeah. they can possibly call you. But then they'll just call you racist again. And, and yeah, they'll be like, yeah, that's and, proof. That's proof. And then you give up. And then you, you exactly. don't talk to somebody like that. Exactly. You hey. can't talk to somebody who's just going to call you racist. Like, Level that's up. the mo that's one of the most disgusting things you can possibly be. Ooh, look, we get a second row of hearts. Oh, cool. There's a, there's some pretty horrendous things to be called, but... Yeah. That's, uh... Oh, a maze. One of the worst. I can't think of anything worse, actually, to be called. Like, mudblood. Be be before you call somebody that, you better have damn fucking good evidence that they are that. But most people don't. They just throw it around. It's bandied about. Bandied. Yeah. Bandied cam. I like this bear. I like how he temporarily gains a head. What's that called? A head scarf? Head? Yeah. It's very cute. Headband. He attacks like the Crusagrim as well from... You can move while you're attacking just yeah. like the Crusagrim in Crasylvania Symphony of the Night. Crasylvania Symphony Crassle of the Night. <laughs> what does crass the... mean again? Crass. I think it, it's like, like a guy like me who just speaks bluntly and oh. in, in, in kind of a uncouth way. So, Crasylvania. Which, really, which I don't really on GS. Okay, here, Joe. What? We're going to make a game called Crasylvania. Mm, okay. What, what is it? The most offensive Can Castlevania game. Didn't we, How awesome well, would that be? What, what if we call it Asylvania? Oh, that's already been done, though. Yeah, I know. We did that. We made that oh. up, didn't we? <laughs> oh, is that, has that been done? Is I don't there, know. Is there a game called Asylvania? A game? No, I don't think so. Oh. But, I don't know. That's pretty on the nose. So is Crasylvania. Castlevania is more. I don't know. I don't even. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I don't even know why I'm continuing this discussion. It's not going to happen, right? Or is yeah. it? I mean, it might. Do you think? Is it worth yeah, it's important to make some some kind of generalizations in your life because if you don't, you're going to get taken advantage of. You're going to wind up being a victim if you if you if you see somebody that looks all thugged out. Whether it doesn't even matter the color of their skin, but if you see somebody that's looking like a like they're thugged out or they're uh, one of these juggalo types. <laughs> you wanna you you should probably cross to the other side of the street. There's a there's a better chance that they're gonna rob you. Now if you see a, a dude in a suit, regardless of the color of his skin, he's probably not gonna be robbing you because he's wearing a suit and he had the money to to buy a suit, so he's probably not gonna rob you, at least not to your face. Maybe he's a banker and he's doing it with more devious and hidden means, but unless it's a birthday suit. But he's not just gonna stick you up. Yeah. Good though. That's good though. So you need to generalize, you know? I don't want to live on this planet anymore, is what I think when stuff like that happens. You know? It's hard. Wait, did, uh, did we hit that checkpoint already? Yeah, we hit that checkpoint just what, now. Was it at the beginning of the level? Yeah, it was right here. Shut up, really? Yeah, you just. Oh, did yeah, it. there it was. Okay, so cool. See you guys.